Hello everyone, this is Aegis here, and I do have for you another game from the Collegiate Star League. This is the third match between Harvey Mudd College and Carnegie Mellon University. This is a 2v2 match. This is the third game between the two colleges, which are now tied 1-1. And we do have here Eye Saint playing for Harvey Mudd. Eye Saint, get your Eye Saint at your local Apple store. We do have Harmless here playing as the Zerg player. Harmless also playing for Harvey, Harvey Mudd College. Um, I hope he is not just Harmless in, for this game. You do need to do quite a bit of damage in order to win. Uh, Zerg is quite a harmful race as well, so it might just be irony there. We do have Zephyril playing as the Red Terran player for uh, Carnegie Mellon University and his ally Pandor playing as the Teal Protoss. So we do have a 2v2 map match on the map uh, Scorched Haven. Scorched Haven is a very, a very dark map. I don't quite like this map because it's pretty hard to see on my computer screen uh, exactly where the ramps are. If you look here it's kind of dark looking. And we do have Ice Saint getting his barracks in his base. Uh, Zephyril and Pandor are not quite gonna wall off together. Pandor going ahead and walling off his ramp while Zephyril saying, I'm gonna take care of this ramp for myself. See if I can get a natural expansion up relatively quickly. Ice Saint is gonna get his second barracks up now. Uh, Harmless is getting his spawning pool on 14 as well as this gas quite a safe build 2v2 games are known for rushing so we'll see if they do decide to do a, a really big all-in attack see if they can end this game really early or we're going to try to take a couple of bases and end the game in the long run however this game uh this map does not let you take a third very easily it has these awkward expansions down here in the corner or these uh two gold expansions which are basically not takeable <laughs> we'll just say it that way unless you do have full map control anyways so harmless is now getting uh zerglings two zerglings on the way to see if um he is able to do anything with those i think those are just for scouting purposes we'll see if he does decide to go for a bust or if he decides to take his expansion at a nice safe 20 food timing i saint is on three barracks there so we might see an early push here uh, Zephyril getting his gas now he does have his two barracks pumping out marines here Pandor is I haven't looked at Pandor is getting his cybernetics core now Pandor saying he has two racks he does not know that there's a third one up right now I Saint getting his three marines uh, four marines out here a couple of zerglings being produced a roach warren by our blue player here so we might be seeing what they call a roach bust. See if they can bust in here and do a lot of damage. Or if uh, Pandor and Zephyrol can hold it, get their expansions, and go for a long-term win. Zephyrol is getting his tech lab. This tech lab is in a vulnerable position. You can snipe this and just back out. <clears throat> it's quite annoying to rebuild those uh, add-ons. We do have a third Rax coming up for uh, Zephyrol as well. His tech lab is now complete, and we do have Pandor getting uh, four warp gates, so quite a popular strategy. Uh, very predictable to see from Protoss here, especially if it is a four warp gate. So uh, 2v2 matches do come down to these rushes, see if you can hold the rush off and go for a long term, or if you can crush a rush and then run in yourself and do a lot of damage. This probe is going to come out here and is going to see these zerglings and is also going to not quite see the mass army here, is moving out a little bit and we do see the army from, the, I don't remember what school, Harvey Mudd pushing in here. We do have a force field being thrown down a little bit random, not doing much there. Sentry not quite being able to do damage here. Uh, Zerg not actually having enough uh, units to help reinforce. All that's left here is a Roach and a single Marine is going to try to kite that Zalot. We do have the Marines also chasing over here. Oh, and it looks like uh, Harvey Mudd's team is going to be in a little bit of trouble. It's going to try to throw down this emergency bunker here and try to hold this attack off. But this attack does have plenty of units and there are units, if you look on the minimap, streaming in 
from the backside, so there's only these three marines out here. Zerg doesn't actually have anything right now. Two roaches on the way, uh, four roaches up on the ramp. This rush is going to try to kill our uh, Terran player, I Saint here. I Saint, not quite as good as your iPod. <clears throat> so we do have uh, only one marine left here. His production is not quite strong enough to defend against this. And we also do have the force field from the sentry is going to be able to prevent um, the roaches from running down the ramp. He did cancel his expansion, so that is quite a good idea. Harmless losing his overlord there is going to get quite supply blocked. Uh, so he won't be able to produce as many units as he would like to help defend against this rush. Pandora saying, go Zerg, so we'll see what kind of damage they can do to Zerg. Uh, stim up and I'll block ramp. They do have this quite well planned out. Carnegie Mellon does want to win this match against Q uh, QXC's schooled Harvey Mudd. As of the time when this game was played, uh, Harvey Mudd had not lost a single uh, match set of matches yet. Zalot sacrificing themselves for the good of this a push here. Uh, this Terran army is moving over here, but is going to meet up against the larger Terran army as well as the sentry is going to get taken out there quite easily. Those th three sentries will be able to force field this ramp for quite a long time. More stalkers coming up here. More reinforcements just streaming in. Harvey Mudd's team is looking in a lot of trouble. We got these emergency spine crawlers as well as the second hatch coming up. The sentry is moving to the front of the ramp, is going to deny those reinforcements from coming up. Force fields should be going down any time now. In the meantime, we do have this army here taking out our Zerg player. He is going to have to pull his drones very soon to try to help defend against this attack. He needs to die as slowly as possible. This last spine crawler with only 34 health is going to start poking away, but is going to quickly get taken out. All the drones coming off the line to help defend, but it's not quite enough. Those stalkers will be able to take out quite a few dr uh, drones before they themselves do get taken out we do have plenty of roaches spawning here but it is a little bit too late oh pandor letting a little bit of ice and saints units up onto this ramp here harmless does look like he's gonna hold but i saint <clears throat> doesn't have that many units and this streaming in reinforcements here should be able to help uh clean up very soon we do have our expansions getting taken as well from our Har Carnegie Mellon team. A little bit of a standoff here. We'll see who decides to make a move out first. <clears throat> this is a little bit of a contain, but not quite of a hard contain. There are no tanks parked here. Pandor saying go, so it's time. We'll see if he's able to take out this army here. We do have uh, them sharing control, I believe. Uh, I Saint is controlling all of these units. Force fields are quite good, sealing off a couple of units here, taking them out. A second layer of force fields will be able to take out this uh, army. Not even necessary, just the powerful units from Protoss and uh, our Terran player just gonna m plow through here and gonna be able to take out our players. I Saint saying GG. So it will be a, a game for Carnegie Mellon U University. It is now. 2-1 in favor of Carnegie Mellon University, and we'll be going right into game three.